Ooh. How are you? I am well. This is an exciting day. Because not only is it Tomb Raider Tuesday, but we are starting number two. It's very cool. Rise of the Rise of the Tomb Raider. So, um Yeah guys. Uh I'm waiting to see who's gonna hop on here real quick. Get the chats up. Cause you know, there's a hi Scottish Rod. Hey buddy, you're first in the chat. Well heck heck yeah, man. Uh, let me know if there's any sound adjustments I need to do. I did double check, see hopefully that I am uh, loud enough as we play the game. You know, these action scenes tend to drown me out, which might be unavoidable. So, yeah. It's looking good. It's looking good. Hi, Moose. Thanks for hopping on, guys. You, you are the stars. You are the stars. What did I do? I'm not, I feel like I, like, unbeknownst to myself, burned my finger, or I'm developing a callus from something that I'm... Dude, am I getting a gamer callus? Is that what this is? No. No. What is that? <laughs> I'm, like, seeing some dry skin on my pointer finger knuckle. I'm like, what is this from? Who knows? Be first! Dances round the room. Frick yeah! What kind of dance you doing, Scottish Rod? Is it a jig? Is it like like a? <laughs> Are you doing the Macarena like for realsies? Rod and Madfish, how is your day so far? <laughs> Ball Rod, yeah, uh, good so far actually. I've had a very productive, busy day. Uh, meeting with the theater manager where I'm directing the play and also directing a summer camp later this month or next month, uh, starting tomorrow, and then I had to make a bunch of calls, and yeah, just like lots of productive things going on today, which is atypical. I normally don't have so much going on in a day, but it's been great. <laughs> Shake my hips. Nice. <laughs> Fantastic. I like it. I like it. Um, so guys, I, I started the stream today on the menu selection place because I have played through this before I have a 99% complete file on adventurer mode which focuses on Laura's adventure combat will be easier combat has aim assistance enabled and enemies have lower health and damage um, I'm I'm tempted to, to up the stakes a little bit but I it might mean I die quite a bit more so I sort of wanted to pull pull the people and see what you guys might think. Uh, this is going to have combat aim assistance disabled, which I'm kind of nervous about. Uh, I'm also wondering if if I do this version, maybe it's a skill you can unlock and eventually get the, the auto aim. I don't know. Um, enemies have normal health and damage. So normal health and damage, right? That just sounds like... It's not that it's harder it's that is not the easy version so I feel like the normal version is what we ought to do right I did it rod using my new avatar thanks to you cool I don't know what you did what did you do all good you do you <laughs> well, okay right so it's up to me gotcha I just figured you guys might might want to like well okay I want to make it challenging for myself and I suppose there may be an option to change it I don't know if I can change it midway but uh... do the extreme oh my god it's got a shot <laughs> I just I think that would be insane. Insane. So here's here's what I'll do. How about once we play through all three, uh, Rise and then Shadow, then I'll go back. I'll go back and do all of them on extreme mode. How about that? Yeah? That sounds good to me. Yeah. I think we should do that. <laughs>
that's a great question. Is there a difficulty trophy? Probably. I would guess so. But I don't know. We'll do it later. We'll do it later. I'm going to start with, with this, the Tomb Raider. Do it how you feel is best. What makes someone reach beyond the boundaries of human experience to face the unknown? As children, we question the world around us. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity for wonder. But some do not. The explorers, the seekers of truth. It the is travelers. these pioneers <laughs> who define the future of mankind. Jonas! The They're done. No amount of money is going to get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's going to be a hell of a climb. I'm not turning back. I know. You should stay here with them. Not a chance. Aww. <laughs> I love Jonas. Evening and all. Hi, Galarak. Thanks for jumping on. We just got started. Double wielding. Double wielding You're pickaxes. Wait till you see this new Lara. Take my hand. <clears throat> Look at that! It's amazing! But the snow coming off those peaks is a bad sign. The trail leads up the mountain. We'll have a good view of the valley beyond from the summit. Alright. Let's take it easy here. This wind is crazy! We just need to keep moving. Hey, even if we don't find anything up here, your dad would be proud. I know, but I have a good feeling about this. Oh, shit! Ah! You okay? <laughs> I lost my footing. I'm fine. Double climbers in this game is next level. I know this is a long shot, 
But that old tracker said he saw ruins up in these mountains. Hi, Mighty Monarch. Welcome. Hey, Captain Steve. Oh, perfect place to make a snowman. Tell him to hold up. <laughs> Rhett, I gotta make an angel. We're just starting oh, Tomb Raider 2 today. I guess I was gonna hide a lost city. Rise of the Tomb Raider. This might be the kind of godforsaken place I do it. <laughs> Welcome to the chat. Thanks for stopping by, Captain. I just hope Trinity has a beaten us to it. Storm's ah. getting closer. We have a couple hours at most. You guys hear that? Should be enough time. We're um, almost to the top. Hope that Trinity hasn't beaten us to it. And uh, it was only mentioned once in the last game. But something about Trinity uh, was left a little, little, um, little penny drop, little goose egg from the first game. Trinity was interested in that island so this game we get to know a lot more about trinity and trinity is the organization that her father was always pitted think? against we're close to something jonah i can feel it just as last stretch to the top all right let's see what's up there But keep close to the wall. Okay. All right, we're keeping close to Looks the wall. Looks like we climb from here. Keep your eyes open for falling ice. Right. You ready? Let's do it. Watch for falling ice, he said. Let's take it slow and steady. Just stay with me. Look out! Ah! Oh shit! That was close! It certainly was. But it put a ledge for us. Come on. Oh, oh. 
shit. No! Laura! I can't hold you! The rope is slipping! Ah! What the hell? Ah! How am I not getting it? Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. We're dead. <laughs> Hi, Daenerys! Okay, here goes. Uh... Ah! Come on now! Ah! Ah! Laura! I can't hold you! The rope is slipping! Ah, jeez. Welcome back to the stream! I tried to raid you after a stream yesterday, but your stream literally finished at the exact same time. Oh, well thanks, kitty! That's so sweet! Alright, so this is a flashback. It is the greatest cruelty of life that we're all too swiftly taken from it. We age. We decay, we die. But what do we leave behind? Bones? Dust? What of the soul? Does it endure beyond our earthly existence? I believe it does. A truth lies at the heart of many myths and stories. A truth not of science, but something more profound. The key to unlocking everlasting life. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but I'm not alone in this search. They're following me, watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. I must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself. Ah, oh, so the person with the flashlight wasn't Laura? Apartment. I'm good. 
Thanks. Hi, Manfish. Hi, Rayet. Hello, Michael Staff. Hey, everybody. Thanks for jumping on. If you're having fun, you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button. I'm so sorry. What are you doing here? I saw the gutter press was attacking you again. I thought you could use some company. No lies. Were you followed? Followed? Of course not. What's going on? I think I found the tomb. Oh, you can't be serious. The myth of the Prophet is real. Dad was right. Lara, your father was... unwell. No. He was close to a great discovery, tangible evidence of the immortal soul. I loved Richard. I would have married him if he'd asked. But he was a broken man. I don't want to see you end up like him. So this is his girlfriend. He was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. The tomb's in Syria. Syria? Oh God, Laura, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined your father. I saw something. Something I... I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. Nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the Prophet's tomb. <laughs> All right, so Girlfriend Croft was that blonde lady. And now we're in Syria. Hey, we're heading into a war zone now. Better be sure about this. We're close. There should be an oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Something isn't right. Oh, that's just local militia. You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you. You both. Damn, bro. Shit, they weren't supposed to shoot at us. Get us out of here. Shit, shit. No, no, no. Sound is gone. Sound is gone. Never mind. <laughs> okay, okay. It's kind of a throwback to the OG Laura outfit, right? There was something in Dad's research about this. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. It was said the Prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the Prophet was laid to rest. An oasis, huh? Oh. Something's here. 
lots of greenery. I'd say this is an oasis. Could this really be it? Dimash is lurking, guys, for, uh, I saw, oh yeah, he did pop in there and say hi. Cool, cool. He's at work, making crackers. Incredible. Some kind of marker. I can't quite make out the translation, but this word. Chamber of Murals. Press R3 to activate Survival Instinct. So it's a different button from the last game. Okay, he's shown here performing healing miracles. Dad's notes mention this. Constantinople, unjustly murdered by order of Trinity. Ah, there they are again, in a more ancient capacity. It's the Prophet, speaking with a foreign army. He convinced them to lay down their weapons. Alright, cool, so... In the game, you kind of gain knowledge from, from investigating, translating things, and then you learn a little more, because some of these translations you can't do until you learn more. Mm, my Greek is still a little rusty, but it's pointing to something hidden nearby. I'll mark down the locations. Player beacon. Use X to mark any item with a player beacon. Player beacons appear in world is blah blah blah. Cool. So that uh, little coin cache right there, for instance. Then when we use our instincts, we can see where something hidden is buried. Ancient coins can be traded for upgrades and equipment. So yeah, there's that. Another mural to check. He led his followers through the desert to the oasis. Ouch. That too, Laura. Entrance. and you know what to do. So not not open world at all, but so much fun.
Anna Sarah. Hi, Home Raider 2001. Welcome. Welcome to the Tomb Raider Tuesday stream. We just started Rise of the Tomb Raider today, which I believe is coming out for free on PS uh, Plus, you guys. So keep an eye out for that. If you're liking what you see, you might want to give it a download. We can play along together. <laughs> The Order of Trinity pursued the Prophet and his people relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. A way through. Totally should have seen it coming too. Oh golly. Ew! Ew, 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 ew! I hate things with exoskeletons. Scorpions among them. Blah. Get a move on, Laura. This is gross. Trinity. How come these guys look like they're like, they're like hugging their tummies or something? They're like, oh, I don't feel too good. <laughs> All right. We got some. So in this game, instead of uh, salvage to upgrade things, we're collecting coins, those coin caches and things. So. So, just interchangeable, this game, for salvage. My son, the Order of Trinity has received word that the Prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their Prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. We have learned he is preaching his heresy among the local citizens, drawing more to him daily with his tales of how he conquered death. He is a liar and a heretic, claiming miracles that come only from the divine. You swore he was dead. Have you failed us? Ooh, okay. The Prophet, slain by the Order of Trinity. I think you guys are catching the drift that Trinity is not very nice. Kind of an Illuminati type group. I sort of wonder if they just are using Trinity almost. <laughs> ay -ay -ay. Damn it! That was too close. Yeah, Laura, freaking booby traps. You should know this. Hold L2 to aim. <laughs> Let's be wary of more booby traps. Whoa. They're blasting their way in. Great, dirty water. Laura's favorite thing. Drag 
maggot over here? Okay. Home Raider? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You got it. Uh, kind of looks like we should go this way, but there's totally something over there, too. a collectible or a mural or something back here. No, this is the way we came. Yeah, this is the way we came. I apologize, everyone. Duh. I just wanted to go swimming one more time. <laughs> hey, Meow Meow. How are you? Thanks for popping by today. I hope you're having a good day. water so guys this is uh the first tomb raider game where um laura does a lot of swimming and swimming is a major part of the game so um fun new mechanic there <sighs> I, oh my, I stunning a trophy in this game I we made it, it oh, dad right on. heck yeah platinum that's so cool yeah i kind of hope to do that myself uh this these couple playthroughs so my streaming Tomb Raider Tuesdays, um, we just finished up uh, the deluxe edition uh, number one, and that one has all those multiplayer trophies. Home Raider, have you done that? Because um, yeah, I'm going to be looking into figuring out how to get a group together to, to uh, work for those multiplayer trophies. stuff in this room. Yeah, Laura has a cool little swan dive she does in this game. It's pretty fun. Got to find a way to get up higher. Maybe I can raise the water. Yeah, now, are you streaming anything this, this afternoon, evening, when I'm done? What did you miss? Uh, you missed, like, we're kind of currently playing a flashback because we actually started the game uh, climbing a freaking frozen high mountain, searching for a lost city. So this is a flashback from, we did, 
second flashback actually saw a bunch of cutscenes, very cinematic. Uh, Laura exploring her father's apartment, or kind of his his work apartment anyway, because got all these newspaper clippings about the profit her living about. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was something that's happened. <laughs> Up again. So now uh, Laura currently is in Syria, and it's a bit of a flashback, but we are trying to find out more information about the prophet. It sounds like we're, the, the lore is all focused on eternal life, like uh, the secret of uh, immortality. So, you know, holy grail slash fountain of youth kind of shit. I am planning to stream My as long Lord, as we don't get What you say is impossible. Right on. I myself drove a spear into the Prophet's heart. I saw him die. Doubtless his people have propped another man up in the slain Prophet's robe to continue his lies. They are broken, discredited, and exiled. We will head south and put the rest of his people to the sword. But the Prophet is dead. This, I swear. Ha <laughs> ha You just don't want to get killed by your, by your overlords. Look at all these cool, uh... Like, they look tiny, but now up close it's kind of like little priest dudes. And you know how that goes. I mean, most like... Modern and the space is really amazing. Um, most modern. I'm oh, sorry. What am I thinking? I, I've been to a few catacombs and such uh, in my travels as a youth, and people were much smaller back in the day. Like the beds were smaller, and <laughs> their little tombs were smaller. Yeah, interesting. That as a species, uh, a lot of our evolution, we've gotten longer, taller, bigger. What's going on with these? This is going to be a challenge. Yeah, it's a challenge. Alright, I saw a couple more lanterns around. Four more of those. Let's keep our eyes out. I'm not really seeing them with my instincts. Oop. Another religious symbol. But this one is simple and handmade. The prophet must have drawn followers from every walk of life. Cool. Yeah, like the Fountain of Youth. I I'm thinking so. Um, it's been a while since I did my last playthrough of this, so and, and of course I don't want to do any spoilers. Um, so the exact reason why the Prophet seems to not die, um, we don't know yet, really. We just know that Trinity didn't like the Prophet, and apparently was confirmed dead and then and then apparently wasn't confirmed dead so yeah lots of fun mysteries to uncover
Just double checking. Okay. Yeah, hey Nemo, thanks for being the she's got she's got hot to trot mod gun going on today. Uh, all those links. Fabulous. Moose's uh, YouTube channel. Dude, uh, Who's our new person? Home Raider. Home Raider, if you're interested in Platinums, um, our buddies Moose and Scottish Rod are working right now to Platinum Scottish Rod's Division um, game file. So that's going on. Smash Smash is my, my partner in crime and other things. It's how his, his desire to, to stream and, and do this during the quarantine is what got us into all this mess and it's... We just can't go back. Our lives have changed for all the better. Uh, that bit of floor looks not very stable. So. Do I see a lantern? Oh, I do. I do. Three more of those. I can't go all the way back here. Hang on. We'll come back. We'll come right back. But it was like kind of glowing like a GPS. It's like these coins. Extra coins. I'm glad they it seems like they sound adjusted the instant noise. Uh, so it's a little <laughs> a little less obnoxious to spam that button this time around. I ride at the head of a small army of the faithful, armed and ready. And I have good news. We have located the tomb of the Prophet. We were attacked by madmen upon the road wearing the Prophet's livery, but they were easily bested. We allowed one to flee and followed him back to the Oasis. Whether the Prophet escaped death or whether another now wears his mantle, it does not matter. All will perish inside and it will become a tomb at last. God, these Trinity people. What is their motivation? Like, that's, I mean, power, control, I get it. But, like, live and let live, right? I don't know. Extremists, there you go. Yeah, Katie Cockatoo, um, it's kind of fun. We've, we've, like, uh, banded, banded together in a way, like a little, pa little padre of, of creators with Papa Damesh. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, No Man's Sky really is the game that's brought a lot of us um, in, in each other's purview, and we all just kind of clicked. It's been fantastic. I find myself with a whole brand new peer group of friends that I am thousands of miles from, and that's the worst part about it. <laughs> That's awesome. I am always looking to watch fellow content creators. Yeah, and Kitty Cockatoo, so it sounds like you've got a channel. Um, we will all check you out as well and share the sub love, you know? So guys, I uh, realized yesterday that Damash had not yet seen the new Horizon Zero Dawn trailer. So we pulled it up on uh, on the big screen on the YouTubes, and oh, we both got goosebumps. <laughs> so cool! I, I want. I just want to keep watching it. I might watch it once a day until the game comes out. <laughs> All right. So I'm seeing this. another spike trap there. That's definitely a booby trap right in front of me. So we'll try to avoid that as well. If I jump over it, yeah. Nice. 
got to raise the water. My lord, the last remnant of the Prophet's followers have barricaded themselves inside his tomb. We have made camp at the entrance, and we are preparing to break through their barricades. I saw the man claiming to be the Prophet before Aren't they sealed the he? gates. Hey, sure and that I link? admit, he bears a striking resemblance. Discord but it could not be. Up communities. Yes. No matter. They will all be dead Do before sunrise. Too. There it is. There it the is. Order of Trinity will Thanks see that his heresy the to Kitty ends here. Channel. And yeah, throw up, throw up my Discord there, guys. Oh, Joker! Hi, bud! Thank you so much uh, for putting my Discord link there. Uh, Kitty, I'm actually getting used to uh, being active on Discord. I am actually super stoked on it because it just feels so much more... <sighs> mm, I don't even know what the word is, but like, uh, like above Facebook. It's coutured, you can avoid a lot of the dramatic stuff that goes on, and it's, um, so I'm getting used to it, um, making a habit out of it as well, but one of the cool things about my, uh, Discord is that, well, and on Thursdays at 1 o'clock, I do a painting tutorial stream, so I, uh, in a little less than two hours, uh, or right around the two hour mark I do a, a whole painting that is game inspired I've been doing no man's sky painting inspired uh, paintings but also um, thinking about breaking out and possibly doing some other game inspired paintings um, maybe at a different time slot so I might have two painting tutorials basically I'm going for like being the Barbara Ross of video games so <laughs> um, so Thursdays at 1 is when I do that. It's a No Man's Sky inspired painting. Usually done with acrylic paint. That wall is weak. I should be able to break through. Discord, awesome, and and for Kitty's YouTube link there, everybody go subscribe, share that sub love. I love you, King Rockstar Lurker. Right, exactly. He's over there like making it impossible for me to ever overcome his Rockstar Red Dead level. Stupid. <laughs> uh. I mean, like, I was thinking about feeling all competitive about it and trying to, like, get back on top, but it's it's just impossible. I would probably have to not sleep for several days in a row to even try. <laughs> all right, looks like we need just a little more water. Um, so fine. If I could get out onto that bar. That bar. Get out onto the bar, girl. Let us get this back up. All cat people. Um, I've, I've got four. <laughs> and you know what? Dimash has a pet tab in his Discord, but I do not yet have a, a pet tab in my Discord. Dang it! Laura. Get 
pets tab in my Discord, for sure. Joker, help a gal out. You know how I feel about self-linking? Well, <laughs> found you. Would you judge if I said I had sex? Absolutely not. Hence the name Kitty the Cockatoo. Do I do have cockatoos as well. <laughs> um, I do not judge at all. Uh, Kitty, I at one time in my life I had seven cats. No! No! What did I miss? It's empty! The tomb is empty! For a Tomb Raider, that's pretty... Pretty balls. Set the charges! The real yeah, yeah. It's like the real Slim Shady. <laughs> the real Mia Meow. <laughs> Come on, Joker. The prophets too. Am I gonna have to do it? After all this time. And the artifact? Inside. God willing. Whoa. What? What do they call that? When someone's Opening. got the, uh, the holes Careful. in their hands? It could be extremely dangerous. Who the hell are you? You're a smart woman. I suspect you already know. Trinity. Where is the artifact? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me. You led us to this place. Oh? Look, it was empty when I got here. There was no body and definitely no artifact. Mammotens Discord server. Perfect. Thank you, Joker. So sweet. Driving. Oh. Please don't text and drive or mod and drive. Oof. So much of a crisis going on in this game right now. <laughs> right? Oh, crap. Jonah! Laura! There's so much I need to tell you. I don't... Did you find the Prophet's tomb? Yes. But I was followed. What? By who? They call themselves Trinity. They tried to kill me. What the hell is going on here? You're starting to scare me. The tomb was empty. But I think they were looking for the divine source. The, the artifact your father was after? There's more. I found this symbol in the tomb. I knew I'd seen it before. It was driving me insane. That's when it hit me. I saw it here. 
in one of Dad's books. Listen to this. The lost city of Katesh, said to have disappeared in Siberia sometime in the 12th century. Legend says that on the eve of the invasion by the Mongol horde, it sunk beneath a lake. What does this have to do with the Prophet's artifact? The same symbol. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> if the divine source is hidden in the ruins of Katesh, waiting to be found, then I have to go. To Siberia? Are you kidding me? Just think. If this thing could really unlock the secret of immortality, it would... it would change everything. Sickness, suffering, death, gone. Are you listening to yourself? Jonah, we've been through so much together. You know there's more out there. This could be real. I don't care if it's real. I've lost too many friends. I don't want to lose you too. Dad never made the connection to Katash. He gave up everything for this. Including you. Stop blaming yourself for what happened. He made his own bed. I can't give up on him. Not now. It's all I have. No, it isn't. If you stayed still for five minutes, maybe you'd see that. Oh. You guys, it makes me want to cry. <laughs> Oh, Jonas clearly loves her. Oh. I mean, who would, right? <laughs> I love, you know, it's like... Jonah? The first one was so much fun, right? <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> But you have to agree, the voice acting, the, the freaking um, animation, the freaking graphics, so next level, right? We am glad to find it this year. Laura! Holy shit! <laughs> Stop! Drop the book! You can't stop us! <sighs> Shit, Lara. What are we gonna do? I led them to it, Jonah. If the divine source is real. We've got to find it first. Siberia it is, then. <sighs> oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> immortality just opens a whole new can of worms. It totally does. <laughs> and we're back. This is where we left off. This is what you missed. We did some epic mountain climbing. And some some crazy avalanche craziness. Laura, are you there? I made it to shelter. Jonah. Jonah, if you can hear me, go back. Please don't try to find me. He just loves just... you, Laura. He's not gonna just puss out. All right. I do kind of hate using that term. Um. Got to find shelter. Find a place to take shelter. Me at work, so lurking and taking a peek. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> all good, move. Right on. <laughs> it's all good. I just put the car on cinematic drive. No. Not okay. Not okay, Joker. <laughs> no such thing. Cruise control is not cinematic drive. <laughs> Keep moving. Come on, 
You can do this. Move. Okay. For, uh... okay, got to start a fire. Hello again, how is everyone? Hey, Manny Monarch, welcome back. <laughs> Gather resources to build a fire and shelter. Night. Uh, need to gather more. <sighs> Dry enough to burn. <sighs> I hope. Yummy. <sighs> Fresh kill. No meat. But... Aye, aye. I knew. I knew there'd be wolves. I knew it. Back to camp. Do the R3 running. Oh, damn it. So, come on, Lauren. You got this. <gasps> I mean, she's nearly got hypothermia, so. Been here lurking, just finished doing school stuff for the day. Right on. Congrats. Congrats on being done for the day with your priorities. Got the one up on you, Laura. He said you let us here. So how? How? Why? Right. Going to need a stronger bow. A makeshift longbow. New rifle. I wish this pain available. wasn't so familiar. Like looking an old enemy in the eye. It wants to take me down. It wants me to just lie down and die. But I won't. I can't. There's something here. There must be, or Trinity wouldn't be in this snowy hell. I just hope that Jonah is okay. That he found a way back. I... I just couldn't risk having him with me. Not again. The pain of losing him, that would be too much to bear. This is my path, and mine alone. Cool, so these resources we gather help with our upgrades. And so this is gonna help our longbow do more damage. We'll definitely do that. So as you can see already, the game mechanics are just more intricate, a little more complex than the first one. So it's super great. Not not a super big stretch or leap from what existed before, but just a little more you know, weapon switching, switching up one more. Great. And yeah, and then like outfits too. I think these are already unlocked kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, just like before we have lots of different things to wear. Um I think we do anyway. Am I allowed to wear this right now? Yeah, there's a, no cost to changing these things. And they do have different... Uh, different 
pluses, bonuses to them. So this one has manual healing, has a chance to bandage without using any resources. So the manual healing is the newest, the, the biggest change, I think, from the first game to the second game. Uh, our survival instincts used to be L1 or R1, and now it's R3, and L1 is manual healing. So y with your resources and your, your you know, taking damage, you actually have to heal yourself. So, super cool. Good stuff. You get a skill point available. Let's see, hand to hand combat and healing abilities, hunting and scavenging abilities. Which one do we want to put into first? Let's just double check what the first one is here. Take less damage from enemy gunfire and melee attacks. Effect is cumulative with the Heart of Stone skill. Uh, I'm going to go with that because we are doing a little bit tougher mode than I played on my last um, playthrough, so it'll be a good one. Okay. The DLC Blood Ties has been unlocked and has become available for the main menu. And it sounds to me like this is an optionally VR experience. So one of these days, we'll do that. Oh, it is kind of outside the main game. So for now, here we go. Kill uh, hunting, kill animals and skin men for crafting women and outfits. Are these um, tree tree climbing kind of fun? We can sort of stay up in the tree line, which is great. I thought I saw a little glinting over here. There it is. There's a bird's nest up there. <sighs> Feathers to upgrade and build. For arrows. a year, I have ridden with an army of Mongols as envoy from the Order of Trinity. The Khan is a great warlord, despite his heathen ways. Under my influence, I have helped them topple nations, burn cities and kill princes, all in search of the Prophet. Our slaughter of the Rus was not in vain, for among the spoils we at last found the map. And now, this very morning, after a season in the mountains, we saw buildings rising from a green valley surrounded by ice. We have found Kitesh. I tell the Khan of the riches that will be his, and that alone drives him on. But the real victory will be for God, when we purge the Prophet's lies from the earth, and at last the divine source will be ours. The Khan, huh? Like Genghis Khan? Hmm. <laughs> I love that this this game, though it has like this kind of supernatural, spiritual 
a fantasy aspect. They do draw on, you know, stuff from real history, so it's like a history fiction, which is fun. Why would I need to come up here? Something to jump to? Don't see it. I guess it's just a good vantage point. Of Kiev. How did it come to be all the way out here? Steak and sushi for me and Chinese for the ladies. Headed home to feed the starving masses. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, you're making me want sushi. <sighs> oh, yeah. Someone was wearing it when they were killed. Yeah. Ruins here. Mongolian. We're aiming to get over there, but I do like to just, you know, I just like to get all the things. Ooh, bunny rabbit. Bunny? The bunnies are so hard for me in this game. Here we go. Something easier. Ah! He's gonna hurt me! Well, I don't know for sure, but... Oh, man. I forgot about that. Ugh. In this game, Laura, if you're... Pulling the screen talk. Trinity. There. Ay ay ay. Command. Do you copy? Oh shit! Oh shit. What the hell was that? Sounded like a bear. I'm not super stoked about it. Lovely shepherd's pie with some of that multicolored food stuff. <laughs> the thought of sticking raw fish in my mouth just doesn't seem right. Hey, you know what? A lot of sushi places have like a deep fried roll or seared, uh, so it's not fully uncooked. Um, just oh, there's some really excellent choices if you don't want it fully raw, Galarak. I definitely recommend it. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. If you have a crappy sushi place, I I would recommend, if you're ever going to try sushi Galarag, try it on a coast. Try it where the fish could be fresh. Try it, because that's the thing. If, if the fish is right and it's not frozen, I get the whole reticence to, to, to eat raw fish, but oh, I, I tried it and, it and I'll never go back. I love it. I love sushi so much. I'm MKing Tikka chicken. Nice. Like Tikka masala, kind of? Yum. You guys are making me hungry. I made a lovely shepherd's pie. I love shepherd's pie. Veg, I think it's called. <laughs> yeah, I get what you're saying. Like a, like a succotash. Hmm. <gasps> 
we've got a monolith. Can we interpret this? Most one yet? of the writing is in praise of a military victory, but it looks like they left something nearby. Ah. Coins nearby. Right over here. There's also a little new cash bling. It's not the lack of freshness that bothers me, it's the lack of cooking. <laughs> yeah. I get it. I get it. No judgment. Either side, really. There's certain fish that just... It's... I mean, it's like having a rare rare steak. You probably don't like rare steak either, and I respect that. That's fine. I prefer my burgers medium rare. What the hell? I've totally headshotted that deer, and it's not dead? That's bull. Maybe it's because my arrow, my bow is so shitty. Hold R2 to craft arrows. But apparently I don't have enough. There we go. Can I shoot a pigeon in one shot? Apparently I can't. I'm just kind of miffed about that headshot. Why wouldn't that down the deer? Well. Lots of bird bird nests around. Ba -ba -ba. Kitty? Kitty cockatoo, if you're still out there. That's my kitty cat. One of them saying hello. Mr. Piwacket. Hello, Mr. Piwacket. It's not the one. Okay, medium rare for steaks. Yep, nom. Unless in France. Then you gotta ask for well done to get medium rare. <laughs> nice. Well, good to know. Good tip there, Galarak. If you ask for medium rare, they'll cut off its horns and wipe its butt and serve it up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, dang. Great visual. <laughs> Gotta love the French, right? I, I come from my heritage is very much French. I have learned all I can Norman from French. the carnage inside the prophet's tomb. My brothers were slain to the last man sometime within the last few days. The false prophet's followers died here by the hundreds, but in the end, they were victorious. I have sealed the tomb as best I can and told the men of the nearby village that the prophet is at last dead. I left them with a the subtle threat that this place should remain hidden. I do not know if the Prophet survived, but I will follow their trail. No Hi one guys. escapes the Order of Trinity. Joker likes it rare. <laughs> well, that guy has been proven wrong already because Laura definitely escaped Trinity today. <laughs> There's something over there. What the else in the area? Feel like we've done a good first uh, pass over this area in terms of picking up collectibles. We didn't necessarily open a challenge like. If there's a special challenge for the area, I'm not clear on what it is yet. Okay, 
yeah, so this is probably going to be not available until a little later. This thing. I don't think we have rope arrows yet. Nope. our OG fire just over there to the right. So, a little bit of a secret area back behind it. Some extra resources. Cool. So I'll give a quick save. Got a skill point. Faster crafting of throwable objects and ammo when on the run. Or gain a chance at recovering arrows when looting enemies killed with a bow. That might be pretty good. We could also do increased steady aim time on bow charge shots. Oh, I'm taking that. I gotta have that. <laughs> Especially if we're not getting auto aim this playthrough. Alright, let's see if a headshot will actually take this time. Nope. Uh, gonna be more. It's really upsetting to have to waste so many arrows on a thing even if you have a great shot. shots, it seems, for the deer, no matter how good of aim you have. At least for now. Dang, that thing is noisy. Sir, he's always like, "Mummy, stop playing video games. Pay attention to me." Hi, sweetie. Just go lie down right here. Yes. Just good boy. Just good boy. Ouch. goes to steakhouse and says he wants it well done. They look at him like, what the fuck? And he says, yep, burn it. Boy, oh boy, did that piss the steakhouse chef off or what? Yeah, for me, medium rare though. It does, you know, well, it takes, that's the thing, because people who want well done sometimes are also the kind of people who will be like, why is my food taking 20 minutes? And it's kind of like, um, well, because you wanted it well done it takes longer <laughs> and so it's mostly that there's like a stigma against people who want it well done because they are often also impatient and you can't have both <laughs> so, uh, so yeah chefs get pits they're just expecting also that same table to be like my, my food took 45 minutes and oh and that's the other thing is that also means that the pe the person who like ordered a, a Caesar salad with chicken, though that that could be made within like 
you know, five minutes or less, um, that person will also then need to wait 40 minutes for their Caesar salad with chicken because the person who wanted a well-done steak and they want typically in a restaurant to serve everybody with their food together. <laughs> oh, don't get me started, guys. I have worked in the hospitality industry for over a decade and I have done everything except cooking on a line, but I have incredible respect for the people who do cook. Um, chefs and line cooks alike. I've been a hostess, a food runner, a, a busser, a waitress, and a general manager. And yeah, it's a, it's, it's a tough business to, to, to I quit. Uh, let alone the fact that my injury would prevent me from being able to walk around the floor and serve food for six hours. Um, I, I started hating people, like hating humanity and people and anyone who, yeah, it just it was not good for me. I'm an optimist and I tend to like people and the restaurant industry was completely changing who I was. I gotta head off to bed now. So... <gasps> oh my god, there's a bear! Oh my god, it's a big bear! Oh, dodge. Okay. Dodge. Here we go. Run, Laura, run! Bye, kitty! Bye, kitty! I'm... I wanted to give you more of a farewell, but I'm dying! Okay, that was not good. <laughs> Catch you later. A convention for being my mistake. <laughs> I gotta head off to bed. Oh my god, meow meow, that's hilarious. Okay, so what am I doing wrong? I feel like I'm doing something wrong. No! Do I need to turn around and try to kill it? Like, what the heck? I'm running as fast as I can. Deep snow. Four moves. Oh, shit. I that. Uh, oh, you're shitting me, right? Okay, what does this say? Laura moves slowly through deep snow. Okay, yes. So, stay on the non-snowy surfaces. Well, that didn't work. I do not remember this part at all. Ah, go, go, go. Ah, yeah. Screw you. in time. I <laughs> think that bear likes his Laura rare. <laughs> Premium, top quality, grade A joke. <laughs> Lara, refusing to use the door again, I see. But it's false to this way, Dad. Come here, you little monkey. <sighs> Are you going on another adventure? Yes, my greatest one yet. Well, I've decided that I should be your assistant. Oh, have you? Well, there's no one I'd rather have by my side. But this business... It's too dangerous. Laura, listen to me. Someday, you're going to make such a mark on this world. You're going to make me so proud. Give me a moment, darling. I need to take this. <sighs> Got to find this wound. Collect herbs and cloths to create a healing cell. So 
So yeah, we're still in tutorial mode, guys. But we're getting through it. Those leaves just done the bleeding. <sighs> Need some kind of bandage. Doesn't have anything in it. Some kind of thing. Read night all. Good night, Galarad. Sleep well. Cold War installation. What the hell is Trader doing down there? Good enough. So that's that manual healing. Looks like the path goes all the way through. <sighs> got to get past that bear. And we gotta get past the bear. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Pardon me, guys, I got some hiccups. <laughs> Damn it. Too much issue. Find a way to defeat the bear. Those mushrooms, they're death caps. I should be able to make a poison. Hey, poison arrows. Heck yeah. We'll need three of them, it looks like. Get our salvage. Uh, <coughs> All right, so is there new stuff in the area? What's up here? I don't think we've been up here yet. Or no, we have. That's where we came from. We need to find more mushrooms, though, to make more poison. Um. Yeah, because I don't even know if I actually made the poison arrows yet. What's down here? Oh, what's that? Mag Magnesite ore. Use guns or explosive to destroy height and a barrier. Um, oh, I don't have a gun yet, huh? Okay. Wow, tons of stuff going on. Strong box, a cave. I think that's stuff we've already gotten. This is a document we haven't gotten, it looks like. Or no, we have gotten that one. We haven't gotten this one. Also, it's a, a coin cache nearby. Okay. 
We have told the people of the Valley City that we will attack at dawn, but we shall advance behind the Karash at moonrise. The captives oh, kept gone. from the battles in the west yeah, it will sounded be our like shields he was going as we off advance. To bed. Few survived the long march yes, across Rodney the mountains, has. No but those that live feeling weird. will serve their purpose to the Lord. The city sparkles, a gift not yet given. We will take what is ours and march home with our spoils. You know, real nice, real nice folk, real nice neighbors. Um. Okay, and then our map showed us coin cash right over here. Seems to be kind of behind. I'm so glad that we actually have a running mechanic in this game this time. <sighs> Go bed, Rod. <laughs> Yeah, you should totally go to sleep if you want to, Scottish Rod. You need a nappy poo at the very least. I'm actually thinking it's it's just about three, you guys. And this would be a great place to stop because we've gotten through the tutorial now. We're just kind of cleaning up the area, trying to get some of the stuff found. And we're going to have to defeat a bear. So, I definitely think that we should probably end off here pretty quick. And save that, you know, killing this bear for the top of the next uh, Tomb Raider stream. That is what I think. I highlighted the document over there. Just kind of thinking. I just had it highlighted. It was right here. So. It looks like it's right there, but I'm not seeing it. That's strange. I must have to, like, blow that up or something. In order to reach it? Strange. And then I saw one more coin cash right over here. Oh, we got a skill! Well, cool. That'll be great. That that brings us back to our camp in order to equip the skill point. And that'll be a great moment to save and end up, like I said. Ooh, um... So next time, guys, we're going to defeat a bear, make some poisonous arrows first, probably, and keep going with this fun story. Next, next level to Laura and what she's doing. Faster crafting and throwable objects than ammo went on the run. Enemies killed or knocked out from crafted handheld objects yield more XP. Craft explosive bombs from red gas cans and deadly sparks and mines from enemy radios. Land safely without damage from substantial heights. Press circle to roll when landing. Earn bonus XP from survival caches, documents, relics, and challenges. Ooh. 
Uh, let's do that, because bonus XP is going to get us more skill points. More skill points. Better. Well, 11 now. It's 10 p.m. What? Go to bed. Get rest, Rod Buddy. 10 p.m. You've been up since 4 a.m. Yeah, nighty night, Rod. Well, I'll still be here tomorrow. It's true. Well, oh no. Cool, Mama. You doing a stream today? Yeah, Meow Meow, I think she is. What time you starting, Meow Meow? Before I end off, let's uh let's tell the people what's going on. So very cool. I think we also have a weapon upgrade. It's telling me that we can upgrade our climbing axe. Absolutely. Let's do it. Wrapped Hide wrapped handle improves one handed grip, allowing for dual wielding melee attack combos that knock down even armored enemies. Heck yes! We'll do it! Right on, right on. So you can see that the hunting uh, is additionally important, more important than I think than the last game as well. So yeah, this number two, it's, it's super fun and um, more complex but with a lot of the same mechanics a few couple new ones that just make this whole game super enjoyable I can't wait to do more with you guys next Tuesday I will keep you all updated but I'm thinking 8 p.m. central time so that'll be 6 p.m. our time in about three hours you guys three hours from now Mama's going to be streaming, and of course, then I'll see you in the chats on Dimash Smash's channel at 8 p.m. for some permadeath. Heck yes, going to be so fun. How's work for you? It's meh. It's cracker day. Remember to smoosh that like, y'all. Slow as F here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bless your hearts for, for doing the work thing, you guys. Uh, we appreciate you. So right on, right on. I've had so much fun. I can't look. I cannot wait for more. It's gonna be great. And of course, um, painting stream for me on Thursday at one, and more Horizon Zero Dawn Saturday and Mondays at one. So see you in the chats on Dimash Master's channel, you guys. It's so much fun. I can't. I can't stop saying it. I, I think that's maybe number five time I've said that. <laughs> Honest to God, all I can think about right now is a good medium rare steak. You guys, you have, you have just ruined my evening because I don't know when I'm going to be able to get a steak again. <laughs> um, uh, well, probably next, next time Dimash has a day off, uh, we might do some steaks. But that's the thing, on a day he's working, it's like, he, he's cooking all day at work. Why? He doesn't want to come home and cook. So, yeah, I gotta head to the grocery store so I can make us sandwiches. <laughs> so that's the rest of my night, and I'll see you in the permadeath chat, y'all. Take care now. Bye-bye, then. I love you too, meow meow. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye.